hello, uh, Robert Lights, uh, October 2nd, 2008. Um, I'd like to explain the universe one more time. Okay, the Big Bang. The Big Bang was created for fourth dimensional time. Okay? It's all over the place. Kaboom! Somebody wanted to create a time pocket. Fourth dimensional time. The world we live in it's third dimensional time, okay? And we could feel that. Fourth dimensional time has no relevance to us. Unless you start going real, real fast. And it comes back in the picture. Third dimensional time, okay? Let's bone it to the ground. Mass. Look at this. Protons, neutrons. Or is it time? What else we got? Magnets. You see that? That's a fluke. It's not a force of the universe. Around the time the atom was discovered they had electric motors. This put a bad idea in everyone's head, okay? Everybody thought an electric motor, the atom must rotate with magnetism. Rotates with time, okay? Let me show you the atom. I gotta try to keep in camera view here. Okay, here's the atom. Is the electrons, okay? First of all, does the atom rotate? Second of all, do the electrons rotate as they rotate? Okay? Now, from what I understand about atoms, there's two here and then there's two more outside. That's a gravitational rotation, okay? Can't do that with magnets, all right? You just, it, it just, maybe there is magnetism in there, don't get me wrong. Watch TV, I see electricity and all kinds of stuff like that. But as far as the magnetic rotation, and then they tell me that there's electrons that go over top, that is real, real complicated. However, if it's true, there's only one thing that could do that, and that's time, okay? Gravity is time, all right? So what we have in the atomic shell, okay? The atomic shell basically puts out third dimensional time, okay? The atoms, why don't they fly apart? Because in the atomic shell, there is also fourth dimensional time, okay? Fourth dimensional time only comes to in, in, into effect I think when, when everything is moving real, real quick, this is the force. This would be sort of like the energy, okay? When we split the atom, okay? Now, I'm not hip on all nuclear reactions. I'm only going by what people tell me. They tell me that you split atoms, right? Kaboom, okay? That's the third dimensional law kicking in, okay? Which is third dimensional time. That law says that when something gets so big, it's got to subdivide. No matter what, she's got to split, right? That's what happens, atoms split. Bad thing is, is that they split so fast that this fourth dimensional time comes in, and this puts on the brakes. And that's all the heat and stuff like that that we feel because you're not permitted to go that fast. So inside the atom, there are two times, and, and we also live in a world of two times, okay? There's third dimensional time and fourth dimensional time. Gravity is time, okay? 
magnetic engines. Everybody saw them and they said, wow, look at the magnetic engine. That must be how the atom works. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. This mag magnetism. It's a fluke. Okay. Sticks in one out of 92 elements. Everything got atoms, why don't it stick uh, on the rug on me? And I know you could give me a big physical explanation with a lot of Greek symbols. I don't believe it. I just, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't believe it. String theory. The strong, the weak, where's the medium? I don't believe that one either. One more thing, too. I'm playing with the magnetic engine, all right? There are a gazillion atoms out there that are spinning around and supposedly negative and positive with neutrons. Why can't we create this? Like I said, uh, we, we can't even put a magnet in the middle of the room, okay? Now, I could give you an electron. I could put all the poles on one side. Spin it for me, okay? That's what I mean. I, I'll put a string on it, okay, and let you spin it around. And then try to do a, a couple more electrons without them crashing into each other. You can't do it with magnets. It's got to be something. It's got to be time. It's got to be time. Fourth dimensional time. That's perfect time, okay? This is damage time, okay? All the matter that we see, it's, you can consider each atom a clock, okay? And it's damaged time. This fourth dimensional time, that might keep the electrons from flying out. That might keep the atoms from flying apart. That I really don't know. Mm. I also wanted to show you the magnetic engine too, okay? Uh, I have two magnets set up. I gotta spend some more time. If you rotate it slow, now don't forget these are all magnets in here, okay? They're not iron fillings or anything like that. And this is basically how they're gonna sort of line up. I can see some of them, uh, you know, don't forget this is gonna be a hit or miss. All right, even though we have the magnets lined up on a 45, don't mean she's going to, you know, freeze on a 45. I will take any angle. I'm looking for, to offset the balance here. I don't know how to explain that, but if there is a magnetic engine, she'll never work with a 50-50 mix. you got to offset the balance somehow. So hopefully... Uh, We'll get to this. I, I also got to throw wax in there and I got to be able to get these screws out. I'm going to try to make a continuous thing. I got to crush more magnets. Then I guess I'll float it. You know, I, I could take the thing off, float it in a pot of water, and try to hit it with magnets. But, uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think you could do rotation with magnets, except for an electric motor, which is man-made. Okay, but these magnets, uh, these atoms, I don't know. Okay. Oh, I just want to mention some experiments, too. The Michelson-Morley experiment. They were looking for the ether, and uh, it wound up being the biggest, most expensive, botched experiment ever, okay? Uh, like I say, uh, Newton, Galileo, they did the gravity thing, okay? But they really didn't know about the nanosecond, okay? Now, Einstein, he knew that the clocks had something to do with the atoms and uh, the whole theory of relativity and stuff like that. And I'm not trying to knock him down or anything. He was right on. The only thing is... I think gravity, I think what's pulling you down is time, okay? Um, like I say, uh, you know, if we lived in a world uh, without magnets, uh, I don't know if this idea ever would have came in our head, you know? And uh, what else? Is there any other experiments? The Tagunsa thing, okay, with Hawkins, all right? 
all the trees went in. Time could have sucked that in, okay? If time is gravity, time could have sucked it in. So, okay. Bye-bye.